Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, Tech Sems, and today I'm bringing you a video on how to make a cool little camo like this. Um, now I'm going to change this red to a blue just to see what it looks like. If you guys have played Call of Duty, this is Urban Camo from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this is like my 20th try on doing this tutorial, but hopefully this one's the best one. So here we go. First you want to open up Photoshop, go to File, New. Uh, make it 1920 by 1080 or whatever size you want, but your resolution you want 300 pixels per inch. Hit OK. And then you want to make another file uh, to place that camo on just so I can get the colors right. Uh, unless you're just placing random cam uh, colors, then you can do that. But we're just going to go with this. Go to Place. And then you take the eyedropper tool and get this light gray color or whatever color you want. Then you want to use the paint bucket and put it as your background. Now what you want to do is you want to create a new layer. And to do that you can go over there and hit new layer or you can hit control shift N. And then you want to change this to black and white by clicking on that button. And go to filter, render, clouds. And then hit control L to bring up the levels tab. Move both these sliders to the middle. Hit select color range and then click on the white part and hit OK. Then you want to go to select, modify, smooth, and then go to 11 and hit OK. Then what you want to do is you want to hit delete and then control D to deselect it. And you're going to do that three different times so I'm going to do it one more time and then I'll cut out the third one just so you guys can, it won't be as long as a video so I'm going to hit control shift N to create a new layer. I'm going to change this to black and white again. And then I'm actually going to not show layer 1. And then I'm going to hit filter, render, clouds. Control L to bring up the levels tab. Move it to the middle. Move it to the middle. Hit OK. And then I'm going to hit select, color range. Click on the white cloud. Make sure the fuzziness is 200. Hit OK. Then go to select, modify, smooth. 11 pixels is good. Hit OK. Hit D, delete, and then Control D to deselect. Alright, I'm going to do layer 3, and then I'll show you what to do once we come back. Okay, so I've made layer 3. As you can see, I got three layers. Uh, they're all going to be this different. As you can see, when I click on it, they're all different. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click on each individual one. Uh, make sure the other two aren't showing. And then you just want to go and use the eyedropper tool on your camo. And you want to select uh, the color that you want. I'm going to do this gray color now. And then you double click on the layer. Go to color overlay. Click on the color. Use the eyedropper tool and change it. Hit OK. And then you want to... I'm just going to lock this layer just so I don't mess up. Then I'm going to go on this layer now. Go to do the same thing. I'm going to get this black color double click on it, go to color overlay, use the eyedropper tool and do the same thing. And then now for this third one I'm just going to make up a random color just to see what it looks like. Uh, so I'm going to go, whoops, I'm going to go to layer 3, color overlay, and then I'm going to do a kind of a lightish blue, like a faded blue, like that. Hit OK and then let's see what it looks like. Okay so I like the red a lot better, but whatever. And to make it look good, you can mess around with the layer 3, 2, and 1. Don't move background, though. So, like, uh, you can move it, and hopefully it'll change. And it should look better once you mess around with it. Uh, you can choose what's on top and what's on bottom, so it shows more of one color or less of one color. Uh, but anyway, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.